that is uh, well done. It's Fieldnerve. Jack Fieldnerve is out of the race. Damon Hill is the world champion of 1996. Wheel off Fieldnerve. We'll see what happened, but whatever it was has denied him the world championship. There is a replay. We're going to see what happened. He felt the wheel loosening up, and the result of it was he ran wider and wider. The wheel goes past him into the gravel trap. No words of mine can overemphasize what a brilliant season this young Canadian has had. And a brilliant race for Michael Schumacher, who exits the chicane for the 53rd and last time to win the 2000 Japanese Grand Prix and the World Championship for the third time to give Ferrari and Italy their dream and look, look, he knows it. He is absolutely beside himself with joy. You're a great Ross. You're a great Ross. All of you guys. Oh my God. Yeah! Oh! We did it, we did it. It's difficult to, to find proper words for, for such feeling. I mean, there was such an outbreak of emotion initially when I crossed the line. Obviously, every year it didn't happen. It got longer and longer, and you somehow get more upset uh, that, that it doesn't, doesn't work finally, even though we always uh, felt we had an opportunity and then we, we couldn't use it for many reasons. And finally doing it, I mean, it's, it's simply great. And that is uh, obviously a, 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 jo a Jordan of a Lacey. It's a Raikkonen and a Lacey, I believe. They've gone into the wall. There he is in his last Grand Prix, Jean Lacey. Here we go then. So uh, Raikkonen loses it. He does. He puts his left front wheel on. That's, I believe that's in the Dunlop curve. And a Lacey did indeed just collect him up. And now we're going to see, uh, well, once again, the tether's not working particularly well. Lucky for Raikkonen. And oh no, he lost it on the bump. The back of the car bottomed out in the hollow and took him off towards the wall and Alacy going off in sympathy and then getting together in a nasty way. Just checking that he's okay, a shake of hands. Raikkonen and a pretty tough guy, a tough character, uncompromising. Well, au revoir Jean, it's been a pleasure, a great, great pleasure. Oh, oh that's a big crash for Daniel Kvyat in the Red Bull. And we do see big accidents at Suzuka on qualifying day. We have in the past, and the red flag uh, has immediately been shown. Oh, he got on the grass on the way in. Complete driver error. Unfortunately, lost opportunity, uh, shame to, to crash on the final lap in Q3, which could put us in a bit better position. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, a bit disappointed with myself. So it's, it's mistakes, they shouldn't happen, they haven't happened for a long time, and now they've happened for I feel very critical to myself. We have the three drivers who have dominated this World Championship, all starting from the back of the grid for once. He'll have to go defensive down the inside, he'll have to go tighter than that. Oh, and they nearly touch. Can Raikkonen sweep in? Yes, yes! brilliant! What a brilliant move! Side by side down the straight, Grand Prix racing, and it's absolute finest. Kimi Raikkonen sweeps through to take the lead of the Japanese Grand Prix. And one of the most dramatic Grand Prix in living memory comes to a close with Kimi Raikkonen, the winner! Absolutely sensational performance. That must be Raikkonen's finest moment in terms of uh, a Grand Prix drive. I mean, that was just something else. Absolutely no question. Look how much Ron Dennis loves that. I thought that maybe I have a chance to catch him up and uh, try to overtake. And just into the last, uh, last lap, I was able to get him on, uh, on the main straight and then uh, I started to hit the rev limiter again, but I just kept it uh, 
I went as quickly as I could outside on the first corner and uh, luckily I made it through so, so it was very good.